Hi, welcome to session two, dive into observables and operators. In this session, we are going to take a look at what are flowables and observables, what reactive types are provided by RSJava, and the most common reactive operators in RSJava. Okay, let's get started with the lesson RSJava flowable and observable. In this video, we are going to take a look at the difference between the different types of streams in RSJava 2 and what are RSJava flowable and observable, the main stream type in RSJava. So in this course, we are going to be talking about RSJava 2. And with RSJava 2, we have a different set of reactive stream types. Okay, so these are the reactive RSJava types. We have flowable, observable, single, completable, and maybe. In this video, we're going to talk about flowable and observable. So, flowable and observable. RSJava flowable is the main reactive type used in RSJava together with observables. The main difference is that flowable is back pressure and is compliant to the reactive stream specs, while the observable is not back pressure at all. As I say, it complies with reactive stream specs and is back pressure ready. The main characteristic of flowable and observable is that are used to declare streams from zero to n items. That's why these are the most widely used type of stream in our Java. The, as I said before, the main difference between flowable and observable is that flowable is back pressure ready and is complying with React stream specs. So you can see on the wiki, on our Java 2 wiki, a guidelines on when to use flowable and when to use observable. But mainly you should use flowable when you're dealing mainly with string with high throughput of about 10k items. Okay, because when you're dealing with that throughput, you should be aware of back pressure. And as I said before, the difference with observable is that observable is not back pressure ready. 